Welcome to Skill English. Today I am super excited because today I am going to discuss about two words which cause a lot of confusion. So I think it is well worth to spend a few minutes time on those words. And what I am going to discuss today is also very important in English grammar as well as in spoken English to boost your communication skill. So friends, let's get started. And today's session is about two words which cause a lot of confusion. They are loose, L-O-S-E, loose, L-O-O-S-E, loose. So what is the difference between these two words? First of all, L-O-S-E, loose is a verb. That means it's a verb. And loose, L-O-O-S-E, loose is an adjective. So if we look in a technical sense or in a grammatical sense, then these two words are of different parts of speech. One is a verb, and another is an adjective. What does lose mean? The verb means it means you fail to win or you are not successful in something. So, if our team lose the match, if our team lose the match, that means if they fail to win the match, it will be out of the tournament or we will be out of the tournament. If, we, if our team lose the match, we will be out of the tournament. That means if our team fail to win the match, we will be out of the tournament. So L-O-S-E lose is a verb which means fail to win. So let's see L-O-O-S-E lose. What does it mean? It means something which is not tight. It is an adjective. It describes something about a noun. So although the t-shirt was in my size, it was very loose. So the t-shirt was perfect, it was good, it was gorgeous, the price was okay, but I like tight fitting and the t-shirt was a little bit loose. That means the t-shirt was not tight. So I hope you have understood the difference between LOS in loose and L-O-S-E-L-O-S -E loose. L -O -S -E loose is a verb which means you fail to win something, you were not successful in something. And L-O-S-E-L-O-S -E loose is an adjective, that means it was not tight. I hope you have understood today's session and enjoyed today's session. It was, I was super excited, so I think you were also excited. Please give your comments in the comment section below which will motivate me to do more and more videos like this. I hope you have enjoyed this session. And those who are watching this session for the first time, please don't forget to put your likes, your share with your friends and families who are keen to learn English. And the most important thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button also. You have to click the subscribe button so that you get subscribed and get all the notification as and when I get my new videos uploaded. Until my next time, all my subscribers and my friends and my students who are there trying to learn English. Next time, again see you. Thank you and goodbye.